Hi guys! In this video I'm going to show you how I made this photo. Where it was taken, what is happening on the, uh, on, 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 the, on the photo, how I took it, the technical aspect of it, how I edited it, and why I edited it the way I did. And not only that, I'm also going to tell you a little bit about those people, the Khmer people. Uh, I visited there in, uh, in Vietnam in my, at my last trip there and show you some more photo from that trip. The editing part is at the end of the video. Cow racing exists in many cultures and is probably done for various reasons in each culture. But in this small Khmer community in southwest Vietnam, it's a part of a yearly festival in honor of their ancestors. I was not there at that time, but they do practice once in a while. And through my contacts, I was able to uh, be there at a, at a practice run. And because of that, I was able to capture this without spectators and flags anywhere, which I was really happy with. Unfortunately, I could not make any videos there. Well, could not. This is a part of a yearly photo tour I lead. So I needed to make sure that my participant knew how to shoot a fast moving object coming towards you and freeze the movement. When you've never done that before, it can not be a challenge. So I needed to focus on that instead of making a video and to be able to shoot some photos myself. Taking photos and making videos is just sometimes like a completely different mindset and uh, it can be challenging to truly focus on photo when you're trying to do video also. So sometimes I have to skip one of the two. Today the Khmer people mostly live in Cambodia, but their ancestor once ruled South Vietnam. The ones living in Vietnam live in the Mekong Delta area on the southwest part of Vietnam. Uh, they had their own language, the Khmer Krom, but today the Khmer have, uh, like many other tribes or ethnic groups, married and settled in the main Vietnamese culture and way of living, and sadly, the Khmer language is receding. There is an imbalance in the sex ratio, more women to men, due to war and internal disagreements. The children get their education through the Buddhist monasteries, but the Buddhist monasteries play a huge role in their day-to-day -day life. They live in rural villages, uh, and each village has a simple power structure, the structure of politics, with a village chief who deals with the Vietnamese government. The Khmer still believe in Asian warships and guidance from the elderly and deceased. They are mainly Buddhist, even though few of them are Hindus. The Khmer people in An Gian region live in small villages around the mountain foot. Most of the Khmers earn a living by farm work as rice growers. The cows are very important animals in their daily work and are mainly used to plow the fields. The cows are therefore very important for the Khmers, a prized position, and they take really good care of those cows. The cow race is said to have started a long time ago, on an afternoon when the worker finished plowing the fields early. Some cow owners started an argument based on jealousy and competition regarding their cow quality. They decided to resolve the dispute by raising the cow in question. It proved to be a very entertaining event and it grew very popular. The cow racing festival is an Asian tradition. It has existed for a very long time in the seven mountain region of Angyan province. This festival is held annually on Sene Dolta, day of the Khmer ethnic minority people in the Mekong Delta to express their gratitude towards their ancestors. The festival dates are on the 9th and 10th day of the 10th lunar month. As for the reason why they run on water, it's not just because it's way more cool, but the Mekong Delta is a very warm area and it is simply better for the cows to run there, otherwise they would be exhausted and miserable. They compete on a rice field on about 120 meters track. The Khmer people are very welcoming. 
And uh, so anybody is really welcome to those that went. Just, I would advise you to don't just show up and start shoving your camera into their faces. Say hi. Introduce yourself. Try to try to start a conversation. And even even if uh, there is a language barrier, which is which there is kind of going to be, they don't exactly speak English. Uh, very few of them have a little little English knowledge. But it's it's always better if you have someone with you. If you have like a like a like a, a, a translator or a guide or something, it's always it's you cannot you always get more. But uh, you should always try to communicate. Say hi. Take a picture. Show show them your picture. You know, be nice, and they're gonna be incredibly nice to you if you show them that respect. The keyword here is respect. After spending this little time there, I came to admire the Khmer people. The women are the backbone of every household. Very tough, but sweet and friendly. The kids, playful and happy, and not surprisingly, no strangers to hard work. The men are hard, stubborn, but friendly, but you can clearly see when you look at them, you can see the sign of way too much work and way too much alcohol. But in that cow race, their spirit comes alive. They are focused, determined, and their whole world at that moment is the man and his cows, this race. Nothing else matters. And this is what I wanted to show with the photo, uh, to zoom in on the man and his cows and his, his determination to win the race. So it took me a few tries with the camera to shoot it. I have a lot of photos of this, but uh, this, this one stuck out. And also in the edit, I found the color image to be nice, but I still found it to be a little distracting, took too much from the uh, the story, I felt. So I, I thought it would be a stronger photo, just, just, as, just as a black and white photo. And uh, I'm gonna show you now, it's really simple. Uh, the, the, the edit I did to this photo is really simple. Uh, it's basically just uh, desaturating and, 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 and dots and burn. So let's take a look. And here we are in Lightroom, and here I can see the information on how I shot this photo. I was at ISO uh, 640 uh, and uh, aperture 2.8, and it's still relatively bright. You can see the sun, but I wanted, I, uh, I, I needed speed. So you can see the speed is set as uh, 2500th. So, because I wanted all these droplets to be more or less frozen. So that's why the high ISO. Uh, and the, the, the low aperture is because to, to blur out as much of the background as I could. This is shot with my 70 to 200 millimeter lens. So editing, like I, like I said, I wanted to get rid of all the distraction. I just wanted to zoom in, focus on the man and the cow and uh, see a little bit of the reflection here in the river and, uh, and the splashes around it. So it's relatively simple. I first, you could do like black and white. I just took out the saturation here. I uh, went here to the uh, curves adjustment, uh, squashed the blacks a little bit. A lot actually and then I raise the black point a little bit because I don't want completely uh, I don't want completely black shadows I want it to be a little gray it's a little washed out that's how I like it so I lift this a little bit maybe a little bit here uh, it's like a it's like an S curve ish like that and uh, it, uh, but maybe maybe uh, turn the exposure down a little bit. I'm looking at the uh, the guy. I'm watching the guy, and uh, not the area around it. I'm watching this area here, basically. 
So I feel like the the uh, the cows may be a little bit uh, in danger to be blown out. So I'm gonna reduce the highlights. It creates nice shadows uh, where the sun is hitting the uh, the cows. And I will I want to open the shadows here a little bit. I find this area here to be a little bit too closed at zero. So I want to open up a little bit. Not a lot, something like that. And uh, now I just want to burn this area. And I'm just gonna choose brush here. Uh, exposure down, I don't know, just something. Start with something, and we just figure it out. I just burn this area. And uh, like that. And maybe here also. I'm gonna make a new one because uh, I, I want to set like layers of uh, of burn because not not every area gets the same treatment. So I want to be uh, I, I, I want to work in multiple brushes rather than uh, try to get everything done with one. So here in the trees I need more. I mean this this tree is a little too bright for me here. This. And the grass here is way too bright. I just want this basically black. And a new brush. There we go. Now we're getting it. Like that. Then I want to crop the image. Uh, I, I do like the uh, 5x7 format. I'll just crop it. I don't need it to be something like here. I want to see all the splash here. I want the guy basically in the middle, maybe a little bit to the right. I'm not too focused on trying to get as much reflection as I can. It's not important. Just find a way to make this composition work. I kind of like this. The uh, the river is, uh, well, the water here is kind of closing in on the corner here in the lower uh, uh, right corner. Let's let's see. Yeah, this is pretty close to uh, what I had. Then it's then you have like a little texture that uh, will uh, emphasize the, uh, the the drops more. You can also do texture or clarity. Sorry, uh, I usually try to avoid clarity at least global. Sometimes I would just like to. Uh, maybe add a brush and uh, add clarity to a specific area. Like in this case, the water drops, they're kind of nice with a little clarity, but not the rest of the image. You can just experiment with. This, this is just a matter of taste. How much sharpness, how much clarity, how much stuff like that uh, you like. I, I, I'm really careful not to go overboard in this. Look, I mean, just look at this guy. The, 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 the cow is flying and the, and the guy is just, he's determined. This is determination, this is focus. This guy is there to win the race. And that's what I wanted to show with this picture. I might even do a little uh, vignetting, I don't know. Just to make sure that the corners are evenly dark. Not too much, so. Something like that. This is basically what I would do with this photo. It takes two minutes. If you know what you want, if you if you first, if your photo is good, you don't need a lot of editing. You know, if you need hours to edit a photo, chances are it, you know, the foundation is not good enough. But this, if, the photo, if the photo is good, and, and, and like I, I emphasize so much with the, the participants and at my workshops and just anybody, you, that shoot with intention, talk to the people, see what all this is about, and then think of the story you want to tell, and then do that. You know, like I wanted to see, I have photos where uh, I can see this, and, and, and then another guy on the side. I didn't want to show that. I have, you know, that that was, you know, I have that also, but 
but for the main photo for this, I wanted to show the determination, the uh, the connection they have. This man and these cows trying to win the race, and they did. So that's it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. This is kind of my mindset at location when I shoot, when I edit. I try to understand what I'm shooting and I try to relay the story I want to relay towards the viewer. Sometimes that, that doesn't always happen. Sometimes the viewer interpret uh, their own story from the photos. Doesn't really matter. It's, it's, uh, it, it's what it means to you, the photographer. And uh, if it leaves something with the viewer, that's a bonus. That's awesome. Thank you for watching. Bye.